Hey there, Leslie Sansone Williams coming to you today from the Paralegal Inner Circle class, the Legal Break-In book, and the Cover Letter Secrets class. Now, this is video number six in a series of seven videos. So, today we're going to talk about becoming a paralegal, the social skills. Now, many people have messaged me about being an extreme introvert and they're afraid that they won't be a fit in the legal, uh, any legal position in a law firm, corporate legal department, anywhere. But you can become better with your, and, and uh, better your social skills, okay? And one of the things I had to discover as an introvert extrovert myself. I was an extreme introvert as a child and then became more of a combination of both. I had to learn to ask questions of other people. I was too um, too much, I was very, you know, uh, not self-involved, but I was very shy. But once I started asking people questions, I looked at how other people were able to initiate conversations, and this is gonna cover that, okay? And how to create that better feeling from others around you. And this is very much how I did it. One of the first ways is to become more interested in others around you. So when I go into a new law firm or new workplace, I will ask people questions. Boy, it's difficult if you work remotely, but I ask people questions. Even when I've worked remotely and I was introduced to another paralegal online or we were doing a Zoom call together, um, we would talk before the call started and get to know each other. So the first thing is to start not where you're asking questions that are uh, too personal, but like what you do this weekend. How's your day going? I ask perfect strangers that in my town, any town I've lived in. And this is a new town that I'm in. And people will tell me. They won't just say, oh, it's okay. Um, I will ask them questions about it's rough being on your feet all day, isn't it? And they'll go, yes. You know, nobody, there's so many people that don't ask the people that serve you how they're doing. And so when you ask people that that you work with, how's your day going today? In the middle of the day, they, pro they will probably tell you. That starts to create a bond, okay? That's number one. When you're new into the firm or anywhere you work, it's so hard to remember names. And you just have to ask again. You don't want to, you know, avoid saying the person's name. You want to write that down. And if you have to write notes for yourself to remember, um, for me, they'd probably put red hair alongside of it. But that's how, that's the visual. If there's a visual that helps you, write it down so that you remember and say their names, okay? Um, number three. Well, this will be actually, yeah, number three. Um, listen well, do not interrupt. I had a problem with interrupting people because there was a period of my life where I just wasn't heard as a child. And so when I, when I got my voice, when I started to initiate conversation, I was talking too much and interrupting. And I, had, I would see people be frustrated. They would be very frustrated by that. So I had to learn to stop and breathe and pace it, okay? But listen well. This is especially true with your hiring attorney, the one you'll be working for or two you'll be working for. Listen to their direction, write it down, listen well, take good notes. All right, the next one is take note of another's interests. That someone that you're, it could be just in your personal life, but we're talking about work now what are their interests? If they, conf not confided, but just alluded to the fact that uh, they did something unique over the weekend or they were with their family, went to a special place, ask them about that place, okay? Um, make the other people feel important. Just because you're asking a question about their weekend 
doesn't mean you need to interject what your weekend was like. Okay, focus on that other person. They may ask you, but don't interject it and let them take the opportunity to build a bond with you and ask you how your days go and how your weekend uh, was or is, okay? And the last one is, believe it or not, as you accumulate legal knowledge and other knowledge, software knowledge, while you're working in that first job, you're going to become a mentor eventually. And open your arms to the people that need your mentoring because there are too many that will not mentor and you need to mentor the way my boss mentored me before I ever thought about the legal field when I was 19 and she told me to take notes and write down those questions and the answers so that I don't have to keep asking her. She was very nice about it but she said Leslie you need to write these down and eventually I created a notebook that um, I was given to my replacement when I left that job and that was my boss requesting that and you know of course it was because she didn't want to hear that those same questions but there were so many little nuances to my job that it was great to have all that written down and I never had to just repeat repeat and ask her this is so important for you as a new paralegal that you need to write everything down that you're learning and be able to find it and it's easier if you do it on the computer and save it um, and you really should that's your work product so I like to write it in a notebook but it's so much easier to find it on the computer and do a search when you need that in, in a nanosecond so I hope these videos are helpful to you this is one that is so important your social skills in the legal workplace or any workplace okay any questions comments post them below in the comments section um, of Facebook or post them in the comments section of YouTube um, if you're watching this on LinkedIn uh, please come visit me on the Paralegal Coffee Talk page on Facebook or the Paralegal Career Mastermind on YouTube and um, I think that's it so have a great day stay tuned for video number seven the final video in the becoming a paralegal series take care bye